Hello everybody, before we get started I gotta plug my new channel once again. It's called Rogue Amp 2 and as you can see I do quite a bit of different stuff on it. Update the channel pretty much weekly so most of my activity is on my new channel. So you can see last week I tried to explode a computer. That was pretty fun. So come check it out. Links are in the description and on the video. Anyway, let's get to the Rogue. Today's Rogue is called either Defender Pro 2015 or... Gosh, can't remember the name. Something else. And I haven't tested this yet, so this is going to be a blind run of this Rogue. And we're going to try to remove it with Malwarebytes. So let's go ahead and get started and run the fake antivirus. Let's check it out. So we got our EXE running, not using very much memory. Okay, so our executable has spawned another exe so that one is on the desktop this one is also on the desktop it spawned itself twice for some reason and oh, still hasn't activated yet let's go ahead and try restarting the computer and see what happens whoa hey Oh man, it's not going to let me log off? Windows login off alert? Are you kidding me? Login? <laughs> Windows login off alert. Well, let's cancel that. Unknown program tries to collect a personal info, compromise your privacy. Force log off may damage your personal data and Windows system files. Click Remove Threats to download and install antivirus software and remove all spyware from your system. Windows Login. Well, let's remove those threats. And so the title of it is apparently Security Defender, and as you can see, it's pretty much a clone of Microsoft Security Essentials, or at least the interface of it. Oh man, potential threat. Gotta scan right now. Go, Security Defender. I got the LD Pinch V, the Advanced Stealth Email Redirector, the VM Alum AWS, and the CNNIC Update U, DMD Bankos. And I guess this is in visual something or other because it can kind of resize this weird. That's cool. Win32 Grams, Zlob, Silly DL, BCL. Cool. All right, excellent. Full screening makes it look stupid. Oops. All right. Yeah, of course we're using VMware to do this. C push wad knock best search. There's something amusing about these fake detections. I don't know what. So it's going to take a long time to finish probably. So here's our history of detected threats. And let's protect that PC. What's our recommendation? Defender Pro 2015 apparently. So we'll fire up our page here. And oh man, how much does it want us to pay for that Defender? Uh, does it not say? Well anyway, here's some people who actually bought this, apparently. Yeah, cool. Alright, buy now. How much is it? $70. Awesome. Cool price. So... Go ahead and stop the scan. It tells us to remove 34 critical system objects. Oh, remind me later. Leave it unprotected. I don't care. So let's see if we can run anything. Well, we can't run our web browser. That's annoying. Can we run Task Manager? We could for about a second, and then it closes it. Try it again. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. What is happening? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell was that? Let's try it again. Oh, now it doesn't do it? What? Oh, man. All right, I think that was VMware, but that was incredible. It just started going apeshit. I wonder if we can get it to do it again. No, it's not working. Come on. Do that shit. That was so cool. <laughs> what the hell was that? Can we open anything? Oh, we can open this. Can we open Firefox? No. How about... I think we have IE disabled. No, we don't. 
Okay, well, we can run Internet Explorer. Let's go to Google. Oh, that's not going to work. Got to continue. Continue. Come on. Is there some kind of proxy blocking us or what? Okay, so it doesn't use a proxy. It's just being annoying, unfortunately. So it appears that we are going to be removing this from safe mode with networking. But first, let's see if we can even restart the computer. It's still telling us this Windows logging off alert. Oh, God, that is the greatest. Windows logging off. Force the log off. All right. So now the removal process begins. We're going to be booting into safe mode with networking. And, of course, we are tapping F8. There's instructions for getting into safe mode in all the different versions of Windows in the description. So, safe mode with networking. Go ahead and open that. Okay, so now we are in safe mode with networking, and we're going to be downloading Malwarebytes Anti-Malware Free Edition from malwarebytes.org. Go ahead and save the file. Then we shall install it. Click Next. Accept the license agreement. Next, 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 next. I guess that was install. Go ahead and uncheck the free trial option. We won't be needing it. Click Finish. And Malwarebytes will automatically update itself. If it doesn't, you can just click this Update Now button. We're going to want to just go ahead and go to the scan page, make sure Threat Scan is selected, and start the scan. When the scan completes, just go ahead and click the big Remove Selected button, and click Yes to reboot your computer. And as you can see, Malwarebytes has cleaned everything off the desktop, and we can open Firefox and open Task Manager and all that good stuff. So that will be all for removing Defender Pro 2015 or Security Defender. Thank you all very much for watching, and take care.